deeply as a member of that parliament. First of all, our sincere condolences go to the family of Daphne, whom I got to know as one of the most courageous persons in the fight for justice and rule of law in Europe. Dear colleagues, the way how Daphne was killed tells us a lot about the unjust and criminal system which she was fighting. Daphne was killed in the open. There was no hiding. Her murderers did not even try to let the attack appear an accident. On the contrary, this was a brutal demonstration of power by those who consider to stand above the law. It is very clear why the murderers did not place a bomb under the car of the police chief or the attorney general. It was Daphne who shed light on a system of money laundering and corruption in Malta and not these authorities. Let me just name a small selection of illegal or at least illegitimate activities that Daphne has made public. Letterbox companies by members of the government, the sale of passports to so-called investors, tax avoidance for multinational companies, online gambling based on weak supervision and hyper-low taxation. All these cases have one thing in common. Malta has sold its sovereignty to dirty money. Malta has replaced the rule of law by a culture of impunity for the powerful and fiddling between political and financial elites. Dear colleagues, this is Europe, not Russia. Europe must act when fundamental rights are at stake. It is now up to us to finish Daphne's fight. And therefore, we would like to suggest five concrete steps. First, an international investigator has to be appointed who will be fully involved in the ongoing investigations on money laundering and corruption in Malta. Secondly, Malta should take that opportunity to finally join the European prosecutor. Third, we demand a serious investigation by the European Commission on the rule of law in Malta and systematic treaty infringement procedures to enforce anti-money laundering law everywhere in Europe. Fourth, we support Daphne's family also in their demand for the Muscat government to step down because of the failure of enforcing the rule of law in Malta. And lastly, we are proposing to introduce a European Galicia Prize here in this House for investigative journalists modelled on the Sakharov Prize. Dear colleagues, the murderous attack on Daphne was an attack on European values, our fundamental principles. Let us not forget that people who suffer from corruption in their countries put their hopes in Europe. Let us not disappoint these citizens. Let us not disappoint Daphne and her family. Let us act together to defend our fundamental principles of democracy, rule of law and justice. Thank you.